My girlfriend, 23, called her male best friend, 23, the love of my life. I am 31 male. My girlfriend and I have been dating for four months. We met each other's parents. We said I love you recently. We never fought and all has been great till now on that part. However, she just posted a story with her male best friend with caption, Me and the love of my life. Let me know what you think. Should I see it as an innocent, affection way to call her BFF? I feel that it is a little weird or that it could be an indirect message to me as I don't see the need to write that caption. I mean, she knows I'll read it. And here are some comments. Here's a comment from Who's Got Tamo. Imagine being in a relationship where your significant other calls another man the love of her life. I sure wouldn't stick around to be the third wheel in my own relationship. Another comment from Happy Elephant 82 That would be a big no for me. And frankly, she's too young for you. You're both at very different points of experience in your lives. I wouldn't waste my time on someone who still remembers the excitement of their first illegal drink. Another comment from Pizza Pop 29 No, that crosses a boundary. Yikes. And here's a comment from Curious Girl 78 I'm sorry, but that is extremely disrespectful towards you. I could never imagine calling my guy best friend the love of my life, even when I'm single. If he was her best friend, then she should feel uncomfortable at any indication of romance between them. In my opinion, you should confront her and show her that you respect yourself enough to not be humiliated or disrespected that way. She should have known how horrible that was before she posted it. Good luck to you! From Avis 2006 You can't expect to be the love of her life when she already has one. You don't need to bring it up at all. Screenshot it and send the image with a request to come get her toothbrush. From Hey Hi Ho Ho If you are exclusive, you can certainly expect her to let it progress without posting some other men is the love of her life until you get the next step. There are concepts, but if the two of you are trying to grow to the next step, there is no occasion where that is appropriate. Unless, of course, you and she are not on the same page. To her, you are just dating, perhaps not quite in love. You just enjoy each other's company. Now for the next story. I'm breaking up with my childhood best friend because she's marrying the guy she's been cheating on their whole relationship. I've known my best friend since we were 8 years old. We're now 22. She's been dating this guy for 3 years and I'd say... For about 70% of their relationship, she's been cheating. In the beginning, she cheated with so many guys and there was even a point where she got chlamydia and she told her boyfriend that she had her period and they couldn't have sex and he was so clueless he suspected nothing. I met him for the first time and he is such a great guy. He treats her right, takes great care of her. He's white and she's black. In the beginning, his family was racist towards her and he literally chopped his family down and told them to stop being racists or I won't be a part of your lives anymore. And that's only a little bit of how he's always stood up for her and protected her never made her get a job or anything. As their relationship progressed, they move in together and my friend told me a story about how her boyfriend and her lived next to the maintenance men of their apartment complex so they became good friends with him always invited him over to hang out she told me how she was cheating with a guy who was living in the same complex as them and one day the guy needed work done on his apartment and the maintenance man that was her neighbor showed up and she hid under the covers while the maintenance man was there I asked her how the fuck can she do something like that and just be okay with it. Through their whole relationship, she always said she felt guilty and I told her she should just leave him. I felt guilty too because I've had opportunity to tell him but never did. My loyalty has just always been to my best friend. About a half year ago, I just stopped talking to my best friend because of how she treated her boyfriend. 
In November, she messaged me and told how her and her boyfriend are engaged and she stopped cheating on him. I blew up and called her a piece of shit and asked her does he even know the shit you've done? I told her to come clean to him before you get married. At least let him be the one to decide. She said no because she's not cheating anymore. She blocked me on all social media, even blocked me from all of his social media. I wonder what she told him. We have a few mutual friends who I haven't told anything. I've been at radio silent when people ask why we are not friends anymore. And it's just been eating at my brain since she told me they are getting married. It just sucks when someone who you have known for so long is not who you thought they were. Update January 4 So yesterday I posted about my childhood best friend cheating on her boyfriend for the whole three years they have been dating. The last time I spoke to her, she told me they were getting married and I told her she should come clean. She blocked me on all social media even from his accounts. So looking at your guys' comments saying I should tell him have made the push I needed to do so. I told him the best way I could think. I made a fake account and messaged him. I told him who I was and asked him what reason she gave you as to why we were not friends anymore. He told me that she told him that I was trying to ruin their relationship and they had to cut me out of their lives and he didn't question it. I told him that I do have some information that could potentially end your relationship and if you would like to know, I will tell you. And he declined. His exact words were, if there's anything she has done, I'm sure it's forgivable and I'm okay with not knowing. Now, please never message me again. Have a nice life. That was it. I guess I feel better knowing that I tried. And if he is ever ready to, he can start asking questions himself. With that being said, I'm done with this. Here's a comment from Cart Onasti. If there's anything she has done, I'm sure it's forgivable. And I'm okay with not knowing. Now, please never message me again. Have a nice life. That was it. Let me get this straight. The cheater blocks OP from her fiancé's social media, Reed has access to his social media, and then OP believes his message was from the fiancé? How gullible can you be? And here's another comment from MacHeath1. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess I'd be it gullible. From Karth and Nasty. Oh, it's okay. I just got divorced from a manipulative cheater, so I look for it more than I probably should. Haha. <laughs> a comment from Lally Pop. No relationships with cheaters, at least not that I know of. And that was immediately my first thought. Here's another comment from Cheerful Placebo. They mean OP is gullible for believing that the fiancé wrote the message, as opposed to her ex-friend writing from his account. Or did you mean that OP was in an abusive friendship? Next story. Am I the a-hole for not repairing my car with the money my sibling gave to repair it? My sibling was visiting for a few days and borrowed my car. They, not non-binary, just keeping gender out of it, scratched the side of the front bumper on a pole while parking in the city one day, leaving some cosmetic damage, paint scuffed and a shallow dent. They got a code for the damage and Venmoed me the money to repair the car. However, I decided to keep the money and not do the repair. They asked about it a few weeks later and I told them the truth. They got angry saying they sent me money to repair the damage, not to just keep it. They said if I'm not repairing it, I should return the money until I decide to actually go through with the repair. I argued back that the money was compensation for damage and it was up to me whether I wanted to put it towards repairs or something else. Am I the AO for keeping the money? Now here are some comments. A comment from Presentation View 2014. Not the AO. I get where they're coming from. But once they give you the money, it's up to you what to do with it. Out of curiosity though, did you ask for the money to repair it or did they offer? And here's another comment from Sponge Kitty. 
I think OP is owed the money either way. The damage depreciates the value of the car when sold. Even if they don't fix it now, they're paying for it in the long run. OP's sibling doesn't get the benefit of paying for damage to an older vehicle just because OP isn't selling it tomorrow. So they don't get to hold on to the cash until OP sells or fixes it. Sibling is an a-hole for wanting the money back after damaging the car. Here's another comment from X Theater Techie. I would disagree. Not the a-hole. If you look the relationship part out of it, there'd be no contention at all. If a stranger damaged my car, then paid me for it, and I chose not to repair the car, what business is it of the stranger to tell me what to do with my own property? If we saw each other later on, and they saw my car still damaged, do they get to demand the money back? You're paying me for the damage to my item and resale value. Here's another comment from The Views of Vaccine. This, when you get insurance money for a car totaled by someone else, they don't care if you buy a new car. They just compensate you for the one totaled. Another comment from Expert0072. You could use the same argument you're making here as a reason why the sibling should back down on how the money gets used, and in fact, I would argue that would be a more justified reason to use this argument. 